Well, hello there, it's James. Good morning, I hope you're off to a great inspired start. I have so many things I was thinking about before I pushed the go button and I kind of caught myself by surprise. I don't know how I did that, but you know, every morning that we connect, I do my very best to put something out to all of us here in this community that helps us to elevate the way that we show up each and every day for ourselves. And then hopefully that is a contagious form of activism for all the people around us who are blessed to lay eyes on you. And now I don't always believe that every message I give is gonna connect with everyone, but this one today, I believe is gonna connect with pretty much every single one of us. And not everyone practices this, but I hope this is something that you, it lands in your heart's way, you know, I'm gonna give this a try. Now, when you hear the word napping, it's a kind of a polarizing word, right? For some of us, like, oh my gosh, napping, I haven't got time to nap. Others are like, oh, naps. <laughs> it's like, it's like my sacred, my sacred weapon uh, against my own mediocrity. And oh my goodness, I am a huge fan of napping. I'm getting really much better at scheduling naps in sometime between like one and two in the afternoon, five, maybe 10 minutes. Sometimes I'm down for 15, but that's pretty much it. And science tells us somewhere between 10 and 20 is ideal. You get over 30 and it actually can, uh, it can detract from a quality night's sleep later on. But I'm gonna share with you six things that have been clinically proven to really support our desire or our willingness or our surrender to allow us to take a nap. Um, as a quote that I came up with, and I guess you, if you call your own thing that you say a quote, well, here's a quote. Napping is a beautiful form of peaceful protest and a loving act of civil disobedience. It's, it's like, it's like, it just really brings up a lot for people in terms of being a slacker or something that we admire fully. And some of the most famous creatives in the world from Einstein to Emerson, oh my gosh, the list goes on and on, Benjamin Franklin, so many of the greatest leaders and creators, uh, Steve Jobs, all were absolute discipline nappers. So let's just talk about this. Now, number one, this is a beautiful study. It talked about hormonal harmony, relationship to fighting inflammation, particularly the aging that accelerates aging, uh, drives heart disease, um, creates more and more immune dysfunction. The more that we give ourselves an opportunity to discipline ourselves with a healthy nap, we actually create more hormonal harmony, and in particular with stress hormones, of course, because around one o'clock in the afternoon, there's a secondary spike of cortisol, the stress hormone, other glucocorticoids. And when we take a nap, it helps to kind of lower those and stabilize our stress response for the rest of the day. So that's awesome, right? Number two, cellular repair. A really cool study was done on how when we take a nap, our body's mitochondria, our energy source, gets a chance to kind of go into repair mode because it's not kind of trying to keep the lights on. You kind of dim your lights physically by taking a nap and mentally and emotionally and your mitochondria, your energy resource, gets a chance to kind of replenish itself with all the building blocks that it needs. So when you pop out of your nap, your mitochondria and all your cells are like, woohoo! <laughs> I think they're going like, woohoo, game on. So that's awesome. Number three, uh, it helps to lower interleukin-6 and C-reactive protein, which are the two inflammatory compounds that drive heart disease. So it helps to lower those two. Number four, a study shows that a good nap can actually help to strengthen and lengthen our telomeres, which help to protect our DNA. So that is awesome. So taking a nap helps to lengthen and strengthen the quality and length of our life. Awesome. Number five. So if I didn't get you with the... <laughs> <laughs> These other four, I think you're gonna love this one. Studies show that it actually helps with uh, collagen replacement in our epidermis. Literally helps to kind of give us a, a more of a facelift after a nap. Our skin is plumper and more moist and more youthful looking. So it's like a napping equals facelift every afternoon helps to bring us back into more beautiful space. That is awesome. And as I suggested earlier, some of the most successful and creative people that have ever graced the planet and brought their awesomeness into our lives were predominantly, majority of them, were absolute discipline nappers. So the moral of the story is a good bedtime story can be given to us any afternoon, 5, 15, 20 minutes max, and does all these amazing things for us. So I hope this encourages you to put yourself in a beautiful timeout and give yourself permission of a peaceful protest and an empowering form of civil disobedience. 
Much love. Every blessing. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.